Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations Part 38. So today, as you can see from this little notification that is on screen, it is Ice's birthday, and he embarks on the next stage of life's great adventure. So Ice is going to turn into an adult. And someone kindly pointed out, because I said in the last part we were going to move Belle and ice out together with patterns and the new puppy so once the new puppy comes along we'll probably move them out however someone said that you need to age snow up for elsa to complete her lifetime wish i'm not too bothered about elsa like fully completing her lifetime wish you know she's had five kids she may not have raised them all from baby to teenager but Snow is only a toddler, so I'll probably keep them in this house for the next few parts. And then once we have the puppy and things like that, we will move them out. I will be building their house off screen. I may do a spell speed build. I may not. It depends. But we'll have to see where that goes. Also, another little quick little thing in the introduction I have a new microphone and if you guys could leave feedback as to how it sounds in the comments below that would be awesome I made this upgrade so that my audio was a lot clearer and easier to listen to in general and I'm gonna play around with the volume obviously I just got the microphone so I'm still testing it out and things like that but if you guys could just let me know how it sounds that would be awesome. I think it sounds a lot better than my old one. So we're just going to hop straight into the game and it's Ice's birthday. So I guess we will also... I cannot speak today. What's wrong with me? Oh, and today has been declared a snow day. So basically no one has school or work today because Jack has a day off anyway because it's his day off. Um... Patterns has a day off because it's his day off and I don't know why this kitchen is currently so dark but yeah no one has work or school which is quite good so we can um, maybe head out to the uh, snow day I think it's called I don't know the snowflake first oh, whatever it's called I forgot I'm having a mind blank and cannot remember for the life of me what it's called snowflake no just winter festival that was the word i was looking for and what am i even looking for a birthday cake right let's get the handcrafted birthday cake and plop that down in our usual birthday cake place and everyone's kind of just getting ready for the day and everyone's got snow day which is quite cool oh we'll actually buy two birthday cakes because i do want to age snow up in this part as well you know she knows everything she knows how to she knows how to do everything so there's not really any point whatsoever as keeping her a toddler so once everyone gets up gets the breakfast gets showered and things like that we will um age everyone up Belle, you can use the toilet and shower so let's do that and also i I'm planning on getting Patterns and Belle married. That will probably be happening within the next few parts. I was thinking of probably doing a home wedding, like in their back garden, because I feel as if their house is really nice, their garden's big enough to do it. So we may as well just do that. You two, uh, Belle, move out the way, please. Like, go over here. Go there. And then you can shower afterwards once Patterns leaves. Oh, back to the rooting issues of Sims 3. <laughs> it's so, like, strange going back to Sims 3 after recording Sims 4 so much. And it's a lot different. No, it's a snow day. None of you need to go to school. Thanks for being considerate and keeping your sick child at home today. None of you need to go to school. Like, it's a snow day. No. You don't need to do this. No. I'm so confused. Is I sick? He is. And we didn't get the notification that said like, oh, he was being naughty. We just got the sick notification, which is great. So he's not going to get in trouble, even though it did say it was a snow day. Which I'm quite, kinda, 
kind of confused about. <laughs> I meant I'm kind of confused about because these will probably all go ho all go to school and then be sent back home anyway. So it's kind of ridiculously pointless to me. Elsa, damn it, do you have work? Oh, of course. The dang babies are gonna interrupt us. How are you feeling anyway? Um, why don't you use and shower? And Jack, can you be a doll and clean up all of this and do all the laundry? Because that would be very, very helpful. Okay guys, I'm really sorry about that. The delivery man just came. Whoops, what's going on with my camera right now? The delivery man just came and I just had the most embarrassing and awkward encounter I think of my entire life. In my 20 years of living, I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed. And I just want to tell you this story really quick because it's just completely taken me off my recording mind and I am just like, what just happened? So basically today I decided that I would pretty much have a pyjama day. So my pyjamas currently consist of a massive Sims 4 t-shirt, which is huge and oversized and underwear. That's, that's it. I have knickers and a t-shirt on and I know this is going up on YouTube, but I don't care. I'm going to let you guys know so because this was kind of funny but that was all I was wearing and I was like you know it's just a delivery guy I'm sure he's seen worse so I decided to stick with that outfit to answer the door however I have a terrier and that's a dog who was created for like ratting and finding rats so at any given opportunity my dog will run and I mean literally sprint if he isn't on his lead he will sprint and it happened to be today when I was barely wearing anything. So when the delivery guy came to the door, I was just happily there signing my name for my new mic stand, which I now have, which is kind of making up for the thing. But I was signing for my name and my dog bolts out the door. And I mean, seriously, doesn't even look back, just sprints. He's got no control. He has no road safety. He's just... Oh, I don't even know, but he just bolted and I have to be the one to chase after him. Pretty much showing the whole of my street my arse in my knickers and that's it and a t-shirt and that was horrendous and I think I'm going to be scarred for life. But anyway, back into the game. We got this notification that said the weather report forecasted sunshine, which is a lie because apparently it was a snow day, but it looks like the like it has snowed in the principal's office. I just wouldn't know anything about this, right? No! I'm fairly sure Ice doesn't know anything at all. The other two boys seem to be in school. I don't know why. Like, that snow day probably wasn't a snow day and my game was probably just lying to me to get me into trouble. But we're gonna hop straight back into the game. The babies are here. She'd like to be having more fun. So, Elsa, you are gonna tickle this baby, toss her in the air even, and uh, snuggle her. We're gonna turn this TV on so that they can watch that if they want to. He's terribly hungry, so Patton's, Patton's is already on it, he's already taken care, and she's just here reading a book. She needs to actually eat, so we're gonna have her eat some leftover autumn salad and come on Elsa let's uh who, oh this is ice but the computer isn't on I'm confused he's playing a black screen which I don't understand she's smelly so I guess we will change her diaper as well and then we will also tickle her then hopefully she'll be okay. Is she not smelly? She's a little hungry. Okay, well then, I guess we will... Not Enras. We will feed her on the floor. And how's this one? He's lonely. Okay, Rico, we'll look after you. We'll snuggle you. And we will attack you with the claw. And... Tickle you. And toss you in the air. Where's the other one? Oh, you didn't actually feed him. Right. Serve him. 
give him baby food. Where's our own child? She's gonna just play with that. She actually needs feeding, so I guess we'll get Belle to look after her little sister. She can feed her on the floor. I think that's all Snow needs. Yep. She's good. She's like golden child with all these other ones around. How is he? He's a little hungry. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually um, try and teach him to talk because this will really help out our job thing, our job experience. I kind of really want to teach a child how to talk before we finish this let's play. I think it'd be quite fun. Like imagine if your child couldn't talk and then you sent her to a day or him to a daycare center and they'd come home talking. You'd give that woman a raise. You'd just be like, damn, you're good. I'm gonna continue sending my child here because, okay, school wasn't on apparently. So the boys aren't in school. He's just hanging out on the slide. Where's your brother? He's coming home. <laughs> He's such a loner, Everest. I love you, babe. You're you're a cutie. <laughs> That's quite funny. He's just chilling on the slide by himself. So she is currently teaching Mr. Rico how to talk. How are you? She has no problems. That's good. What about this other one? Uh. Oh, she's talking to her little sister. Jack, I wanted you to see if you could hold some meetings because that would really help your job performance and Lord knows you need that help. You need all the help you can get. So I want to see if he can hold meetings. He can, so we're just going to like hold a couple of meetings, I think. Try and get our... Oh, a wild horse appears. <laughs> we're going to try and get Jack to boost his career a little bit. And I, I'm feeling we should age them up after the kids go home because I feel like we have far too much going on right now. He's very lonely. Patterns, why don't you pick him up and play with him so that he's not feeling too, too lonely. Um, snuggle him and attack him with the claw and to toss him in the air and ignore that phone because we all know I hate the phones in this game <laughs> the ringtone just irks me to eternity and I just can't stand it so today's a Wednesday we'll probably send them to the festival tomorrow and I'm fairly sure yeah Jack and Elsa are aging up tomorrow which is crazy I can't believe they're gonna age up and soon they might not be with us <laughs> sad times guys sad times i can't believe it he's almost getting there oh look at noel he just came in and helped jenny we're gonna feed her on the floor though and snow how you doing baby she's doing good we've just got like children everywhere and the whole family is on board just trying to look after them he'd like to be having more fun put him down here Belle oh yeah she still has glasses on in her outerwear I just noticed that that's okay she can wear them for her outerwear that's fine and can you pick up snow Rico knows how to talk yes Go Elsa! That's awesome. He had a little accident. We'll change his dirty diaper. What's this one doing? She has no problems. I love when they don't have any problems. Um, Where is Belle? I want her and Patterns maybe to... um. No, Belle. Belle, Belle, Belle. Pick up Snow. And then I want you to put her down here so that she can, like, play with him. So, put down snow here. And then, can you head out here? I want you and Patterns to have a little flirt off. I feel like we've not been paying much attention to the rest of the, like, the romance and things like that. So, 
that's definitely gonna have to be looked after. Oh, and that reminds me. Let's see if Miss Danny is in for Noel. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Where is her house? Where is her house? Of course they aren't in. When are they ever in? Never. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Like, legitimately, I can't remember the last time we actually went round and they were there. So we're going to have him probably call her and invite her out. We'll call a sim and we won't ask her on a date yet because, you know, she's still getting over the heartbreak of ice. But I think we'll, we'll definitely ask her to the winter festival. So let's head over there and see if she wants to join us. Please, Danny, I really want you to join. Come on. No, I'm not interested right now. Fine then. Whatever. How dare you turn us down. Noel is a catch, okay? So he just got money from holding a meeting. And he's going to hold a couple more because we are still on a bad thing. Where's Everest? Everest, where are you? Oh. He's there. Ooh, you need to pee. Please don't pee on the floor. Please. Oh, girl, you peed on the floor, didn't you? Did did you lit really just do that? Yes, she did. No, Belle would not like to go on a date, if I'm completely honest. Kia, why'd you do that, girl? Why'd you have to pee on the floor? Come and eat something. Where's Olaf? Can you chew this toy? Oh, man, this house is a tip. Patton, don't you dare flirt with her. Oh, he's boasting about gamer skills. Come and clean that, because that is hideous. Jenny wants to socialise. So Elsa, why don't you click on Jenny? Oh my goodness. Don't chat with Lonnie. Um, snuggle. No. Snuggle and attack her with the claw. And then we will... Hmm. Should we try and teach her how to do something again? We'll try and teach her how to walk. I think that would be good. Imagine just teaching a child how to talk and walk. Like, that's a big impact on this child's life right there. They're going to remember Elsa for the rest of their lives because she is the one who let them learn to talk. I definitely want... Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. We'll have Belle and Elsa get married. Uh, Belle... Belle and Elsa, what? I was literally just about to say we'll have Belle, Belle and Elsa get married tomorrow. I did not mean that. That was completely wrong of me to say, and I did not mean that. I meant we will get Belle and Patton's married tomorrow, because it's snowflake day, and I'm fairly sure Jack and Elsa may have got married on a snowflake day, and it'd be kind of nice to keep up the, th the tradition if I'm completely honest. I think that would be super, super cute. Belle, who are you playing couch with? Just, just ice. Okay. Cool. So we're going to age snow up and ice up once the kids have gone home. And look, the car's done. Where did these damn gnomes go? I just want you to have babies, okay? Someone said build a fence around the thing so that they can't move. <gasps> oh my god, I thought they had a baby then, but it's an, it's a freezer bunny one. It's not like a teenager or a toddler. Someone said build a fence around it, but that doesn't do anything. They still move around and stuff like that. It really doesn't do anything at all because they just disappear and puff up somewhere else so building a fence I don't think holds them down from what I can tell never really played around with them all too much Everest what are you up to how's this one he's a little hungry how's Rico why don't you put Rico down and then feed this one so can we pick him up uh, what's his name we will pick up Clifford 
Clifford is a very strange name for a baby. I just couldn't imagine Clifford as a baby name. When I think of Clifford, I think of Clifford the Big Red Dog. Because I was quite young when that came out. How How is this teaching her to walk, though? She almost knows it. Oh, come on. I really want her to know how to do this. Come on. So, yeah, we will definitely probably have... Definitely probably... We will definitely have the wedding tomorrow. And Jack just earned an other 750 simoleons. And his meeting held has gone up, which is good with me. So we're going to have him head home. And do, 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 do Everest. I kind of want to know when these guys prom is. Did they go to prom with the other twin? Uh, with the other two? She learned how to walk. So we've taught a little boy how to talk, and we've taught a little girl how to talk, how to walk. I probably just got those very confused. But yay, that's going to have an impact. We'll probably get a promotion. Uh, what? How can we not get a promotion? Like, we literally taught her how to walk. Like, that is a life lesson, and we aren't getting a promotion for that shit. What? That is not okay with me. I apologise, but... Good, great, good. And she makes 300 simoleons. Oh, we did get a promotion! That was me complaining, and we did actually get a promotion. So let's read out this promotion thing. Congratulations! Elsa has been conferred the new title of Daycare Dynamo by the Hidden Springs Town Council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. Business is bustling, and even... a Expert, expert multitasker wouldn't be prepared for this profession. You might want to buy more toys and start teaching the toddlers some new skills. Now you have to take care of four kids. <laughs> what? Four children at once. And the parents might even call in a favour for that weekend getaway. Are you kidding me? I have not played around all that much with this profession. If I have, I've literally only got to like the like second tier in it and apparently they can call in for weekend things, which is quite annoying. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new uniform. You also received the tail the telltale social interaction. Parents might even give you gifts if you do a good enough job. So they got a telltale interaction, which is quite cool. I think we're probably um, going to, what's the word? Have a sleepover. I feel like we haven't had a sleepover in the longest, longest time. And I kind of really want to do it. I feel as if the boys should throw a sleepover. We might do that in this part, you know? Do they know many people? We could have it for Isa's birthday. I think he's about to age up, but we could still do it, I reckon. So let's see if we can do that. Let's throw a party at, no, not at. We want to throw a party at home. That is what we want to do. So let's see if he can uh, do this before he ages up. I forgot what time they actually age up automatically if you don't throw a party. So we're gonna throw a slumber party and the start time is gonna be, can we do eight? Is that okay or is that too early? And we'll invite the gang. Ivy, okay. We'll invite you. I think all... have. Oh, Alexis has grown up as well. But that's okay because he's going to age up. Like, all of our friends have literally grown up. So there's really no point in throwing a slumber party. Because everyone's an elder. Not an elder, a young adult. You know what we're gonna cancel out of that there is no point in throwing that party because i was gonna have like a teen slumber party but everyone's aged up already who is this oh she's come to pick up the child i was like who the heck is this girl we're gonna have ice blow out his candles though so ice frost is having a birthday party come one and all elsa i hate this outfit on you and you wear it all the time Let's um, 
I doubt anyone's gonna come watch Ice Age up, bless him. He's been such a terror. I am sad to see Ice grow up into an adult, but I'm sure he's gonna be as much as a terror as an adult as he was as a um, teenager. I'm fairly sure it will just continue and he'll just be tearing up the streets of Hidden Springs for a long, long time to come. <laughs> Go on, dude, blow out those candles. I bet he just wished for, like, I don't even know. Like, what could Ice wish for? Maybe learning how to drive. Because he doesn't know how to drive. And he has this beautiful car out back that he can't actually drive yet. Or maybe he wished to, like... Oh my god, and we're having the puppy! Ah, everything's going down in this part. Ice is finally a young adult with all the privileges and responsibilities of adulthood due to his indifferent study habits. <laughs> That's what you could call them. He got the equestrian trait. What? 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 The equestrian trait. What? That does... no. I don't like that. I don't think Ice is a horse rider. I don't think he was made to ride horses. No. But okay. The game chooses. <gasps> Look! A puppy! Puppy number one! Please don't tell me we can have more than one. Oh my goodness! Select a lifetime wish for Ice. Uh, I don't want you to be a jockey. Perfect student. <laughs> no, he's anything but... Maybe a rock star, you know, with his rebellious ways. I think he could do well as the path of a rock star. We're gonna choose that. Oh my goodness. New puppies. Just had a litter of puppies. Everything's kicking off. We need to name this little one. Look at him. He's got like a red back. Oh, look at Ice's hair. I don't like that. But he is handsome. I do like him. I probably will keep the hair he had as a teenager because I quite like it. Maybe I'll change it up. Who knows. But this is the puppy and it's so cute. Can we name it? Someone suggested a really good idea and I'm sorry that I can't remember who it was but someone suggested a very good idea and I actually need to check what gender this is before I name it. It's a male. So, someone said, because I've named Olaf, Olaf, and he's obviously out of Frozen, could I choose a name from Rise of the Guardians? Which I thought was quite cool. And so I think, um, I think, I, I've, I don't know what to call it. Actually, I'm going to leave this up to you guys, because there isn't that many Guardian names. There is North, Bunnymund, Pitch Black and Sandy, and they're all a little bit strange to me. I don't know, I just don't think they feel as if they fit this puppy. So I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. Um, leave comments of names down below, and the one that has like the most thumbs up will win. And I'll use your puppy name for the new addition to the family, but it's so cute and little. And I guess we should also uh, throw the birthday party for snow so let's grab snow and bring her down here we're cheering everything we're cheering birthday parties we're cheering this little guy over here who has like a red back and is so cute he's like red and brown and he looks more like his mum than he does his dad but he is gorgeous oh my goodness a dog in the family just had puppies. Everyone's so excited. Right, let's blow out candles for snow. This game just got really loud really fast. Go and have a birthday party for snow. Belle, ignore that call. Please. Logic 101. The school had to back, scale back on costs. Teach a logic class. We can do that. Kia Frost just had a litter. There's nothing like endless energy of new babies. 
So they only had one in their litter, which I'm kind of thankful for. I really didn't want any more because I feel really bad if I had to give puppies away in this game. Like, I would feel ridiculously bad. I, I, I really dislike cut you away, buddy. But I will change it off screen for you guys for the next part. I will definitely change that up. So come on, Snow. You're the last one to age up today. Oh, no, I didn't mean to pause it. You can do it, Snow. Let's watch. She's the last baby of the family. We have to save her this moment. She's finally gonna age up. She's like looking all cross-eyed. She is looking very cross-eyed. Yay, there we go. With crawling and cribs behind her, Snow has finally gotten on her own two feet and has become a child. Due to your excellent parroting skills, you may now choose a trait. Okay, so she is artistic and she loves the cold. Hmm. Artistic and loves the cold. Maybe she can be like a writer. Or like a writer, an illustrator. So maybe we'll make her... Hmm. I was going to make her a bookworm, but I think she'd kind of be... Being the last of the family in a big family, I feel... I'm the last one of a big family and I feel like I'm quite like excitable and open because I obviously grew up with a lot of brothers and sisters. I am one of seven if you guys didn't know which a lot of people when I tell them that they're like whoa that's a really big family and I agree it is a very big family. Maybe we'll make her virtu virtuoso. Prob maybe meh. Uh, I kind of want to make her like a writer so I think I'm gonna go with ambitious we're gonna go with ambitious oh I forgot we were on that but yeah this is snow as a child she's currently cross-eyed oh and ice just peed himself he got too excited that his little sister her head just moved and that was really creepy but I'm gonna change her hair to brown she is super cute she has really tiny top lips, but she is very, very cute indeed. And I'll change her hair and change her looks up off screen. And I'll do the same for Ice. But that's it for this part, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Elsa finally managed to get to level three of her career, which is very good. But we have to look after four children and look how many Sims we already have in our household. So things are just going to get crazy. Thank you all for watching. Please give this part a big thumbs up if you enjoyed because all your support obviously means a lot to me and I want to know that you guys are still enjoying this Let's Play. Thank you all for watching and your continued support and I love you all. I'll speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!